New York City, 2001. No tall building had ever collapsed primarily due to fire. But that's exactly what investigators believe happened to the 47-story World Trade Center Building 7 on September 11th. According to a three-year comprehensive building and fire safety investigation just completed by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST. World Trade Center 7 collapsed because of fires. We really have a new kind of progressive collapse that we have discovered here, which is a fire-induced progressive collapse. And in fact, we've shown for the first time that fire can induce a progressive collapse. NIST used detailed data describing the building and its contents to create the most complex computer simulation of a structure collapse ever made. Falling debris from Tower 1 started fires on 10 floors in Building 7. A break in the city water main from the collapse of the towers disabled sprinklers in the lower half of WTC-7, allowing fires on those floors to burn for seven hours. The NIST computer model was validated with evidence from videos, photos, witness accounts, and other data. It shows that heat from fires expanded long support beams, causing connections and floors to fail. So you look at the uh, floors failing here, and eventually this column 79 is going to buckle, it fails, and then the entire vertical progression takes place. The buckled column caused additional collapsed floors and falling debris that removed support from adjacent interior columns. A chain reaction then caused other interior columns to fail in quick succession. The outside shell of the building fell. The NIST team found no evidence that explosives were involved in the collapse. And our analysis show that even the smallest explosive charge that was capable of bringing down the critical column in the building, had it occurred, uh, we would have seen sound levels of 120 to 130 decibels about a half a mile away. That would have been an incredibly loud sound, and that sound was not picked up by any of the videos or witnesses that we have talked to. The team found that World Trade Center 7's design was generally consistent with the relevant building codes when it was built. Our high-rise buildings in this country are very, very safe. Having a collapse of this nature is a very rare event. Nevertheless, to ensure that buildings do not collapse in fires, even when sprinklers fail or are not present, the NIST team urges re-evaluation of the fire performance of structures with long-span floors and other design elements similar to WTC-7. The team's report also calls for stronger codes, standards, and practices so that other buildings don't suffer the same fate.